Versace, where you flying today? I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and out, in and out of state. <laughs> Don't you dare, this is not the same. Hello, 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 guys. I was early to the airport and now I'm even earlier to the gate. Can you guys believe it? I'm here. Hey, I'm trying to, let me do my little intro for my YouTube video and then I'll, like, give me two seconds. I made it to the airport. I'm actually early today. Normally, you know, I'm chucking in like five minutes prior, but actually I got 15 minutes before the plane, before we start um, boarding. All right, let's see, where am I going? We are going to, oh, we're going to Connecticut. Okay, so Chicago, Connecticut, Connecticut, Orlando, and then Orlando, Indy, and then we have 20 hours in Indy. Tomorrow's an easy day. Dang, I have a lot of time in Indy. Indy, Baltimore, Baltimore, Boston, a lot of time in Boston, and then three legs home on Sunday. Your girl is ready and better than ever. We're about to get out of here. I'm flying A, I'm the HBIC today. Um, working in the front of the plane. And yeah, it's time to meet my crew. Oh, this is a cute little room for 19 hours. You guys, three medical emergencies later. And here we are. Here we are. My stomach is in shambles because I ate some type of dairy. Don't know from what, but my stomach is like so bloated. Okay, I know this is not the only bathroom, my like, honey, because. Downstairs so that I can get a new room because the light in the room did not work. So hopefully in 317 my light now works. It's going on 1 a.m. And I am kind of burnt out. I'm tired. I'm ready to get in the bed. I'm ready to take off this makeup. I'm ready to go to sleep. And I really do not have the time to be playing around with these rooms. Okay. Well, get the freaking key out. Stomach again is in shambles. And honestly, I'm just trying to go to bed at this point. door for no reason. Okay. That from light works. We're good to go. We're good to go. Alright, I don't know what the view is like. And at this point, I don't really care what the view is like. I'm tired. I need to go to sleep. And I will chat with you guys and tell you about my three medical emergencies tomorrow. Just someone needs to remind me. So someone take accountability and remind me tomorrow. <laughs> And I'll tell you. Y'all, I'm trying to be as calm as I can. I know I was supposed to come on this camera and discuss with you guys about my three medical emergencies. And I'm thinking like, oh, what else can go wrong? But something, somewhere, somehow, they were able to figure out another way for it to go wrong. Like, I've stayed in plenty of hotels, you guys know, as a flight attendant. I know how to do the bed bug check, and I check the bed bugs every time before I do anything. That's why I sleep on my sheet to prevent, like, you know, any or all of that. So I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm asleep. I went to sleep, woke up, got up to get in my bag and get me a snack, to then talk on the phone, to then pulling sheets back and seeing a freaking 
bed bug. When I tell you guys, I freaking, I freaked out. Like, I've never seen a bed bug, like, ever. I've stayed in a gazillion hotels, and I've never seen a bed bug. And the simple fact that I saw one today on top of the sheets, like, I always lift up the mattress, check it under the mattress, but to see that the bed bug is here, that just goes to show you that nobody, oh, is that it? That just goes to show you that nobody changed the sheets. Like, they don't change the sheets. I am so disgusted right now. And I'm so freaking upset. You guys have no idea. Like, I'm so upset. I cannot believe that I just slept in a bed last night with bed bugs. Now, I literally have to throw all my shit away because I'm not, like, what? <sighs> this is day two of my trip. This is not even day three. I'm so ready to go home. Like, I'm in Indy. Like, I really just want to just go home. Like, I'm just so over it. And then from yesterday with all of those medical emergencies, like, this is literally trip from hell and just like i'm just ready to go like i'm just so done and then i still have like we have a 20 hour indie overnight so i'm still at this hotel like i can't even like leave and go like i honestly just want to get dressed and go to the airport now but i don't even want to take like a shower i just want to get out of here like i don't even want to be at this hotel anymore i'm so disgusted like so disgusted i'm so upset so with this being my first experience with bed bugs like i'm like super freaked out but I did speak with the manager and they're handling it really appropriately. Honestly, he said the best they can do is like switch me to another room and I get it. But I just really feel creeped out and I would love to go to another hotel. But I do understand the simple fact that um, I leave in a couple of hours. So it's like, you know, to go to a full another hotel, like it's a lot of work. I will take the manager up to the hotel room, the new hotel room that I'm going to. We're going to strip down the bed. I want to see them change um, the sheets in front of me, all of that. And just, you know, for my peace of mind, I just want to feel comfortable in the hotel that I'm staying at. So the hotel um, manager is like really nice. He's really helpful. And they even caught the book. Oh my God. <laughs> I only saw one, but when he stripped down the bed, it was like more than one. Like I checked for bed books. Why did this happen? But he said that the fact that they weren't on the mattress, that means that they're fresh. So whoever was staying in the room prior to that or what, I guess they brought the bed bugs. But I'm just like, you know, like when the cleaners come in and clean, I don't understand how they didn't see it. Oh my God. I don't know, but I really just want to take a hot shower. I want to put all of my stuff in a hot dryer. Cause I feel like I have bed bugs like crawling on my back. I feel like they might be in my hair. Like I'm just so, uh, I'm cringing, I'm cringing. I just feel so eerie. But honestly though, this feels like the trip from hell. Only because we had the medicals yesterday. We had a long duty day. And then today, found out I was sleeping in bed bugs. Gotta be at the airport in a couple of hours. It is a lot, today is a lot. But on the brighter side of things, today we have um, pretty much an easier day. It's only about a five hour day, so honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna wear makeup, y'all. Like, I'm just so ready to get out this hotel. Ready to get to another hotel that hopefully doesn't have bed bugs. Honestly, I'm ready to get home. This is day two, I'm ready to get home. Um, I've never in my years of flying experienced bed bugs. So I guess it's the first time for everything. Whew. Oh my God, I actually saw a real life bed bug. I was trying to get it on camera, but it was like, it was moving, it was still alive. The manager came in, found some dead ones, found some more live ones. Oh my God, I'm so freaked out. But again, they said that the only thing that they can pretty much do is put me in another hotel room. So I'm gonna go to another hotel room, it's 11.43 a.m. Go to another hotel room, kind of get settled in. Not really, just want to open my suitcase, take stuff out, put it right back in. I really just want to put some of my stuff in a dryer just to ensure that I'm not packing up bed bugs. Cause that's my biggest fear, to like pack up bed bugs and bring them home. Ooh, we don't want that. So, what I'm going to do is talk to the manager, get to another room, and just kind of get settled for the next couple of hours that I have to be here. But this is how my morning's going. My morning is going up trying to find a new hotel room that doesn't have bed bugs. So we're in the hotel and I actually requested to kind of see them clean it just for my peace of mind. So we are behind the scenes of a hotel room that is going to get cleaned. What is that? What's White River? Why can't I say river? White River. Say that five times fast. White River. State Park. Up <laughs> Look, White River State Park. There we go. It's so much stuff in downtown Indiana. I actually love Indy. Okay. So you guys, I'm back the room i'm in another 
room, same hotel. But um, yeah, it took like four hours to get this stuff situated. I'm not able to go out in India and I'm kind of sad because I really did want to go out. Um, I'm a little exhausted from the morning that I've had. So I'm just going to try to take time to, you know, feel better, be rested so that I can get up and head to the airport and work these couple flights um, to Boston. Boston, we have a pretty long layover. I'm going to sit in this bed even though I don't want to be here. What is that? I think that's just a mark. Let me go see in the mirror. But yeah, um, we are going to, yeah, that's just a zip. Look, I'm trying to check to make sure I don't have no bad blood bites. Ooh. Yeah, like I'm hungry, but I don't even feel like eating. Like at this point, I just want to sleep. So I'm going to take another nap or whatever. And then I'm going to wake up and I'm going to get dressed for work. Um, yeah, the problem and everything, I guess, was temporarily resolved because this is insane. Like I've never dealt with a situation like this before. But um, instead of talking to you guys about it right now. Oh, this is cool. I'm trying to hit I'm just gonna get some rest because it has been one hell of a morning, but hopefully I'll have a better day. The day kind of started off rough, but hopefully, um, you know, the flights will be smooth, passengers will be nice, and um, I can just have a great overnight in Boston. So we're just praying for a better day because this morning, oh my God, y'all, this morning was crazy. But yeah, I'm in a new hotel room. I'm about to take a nap. You guys, I'm in my hotel room. Um, I've been here for a minute. Again, I'm so sorry I did not record today. Today was a lot. It was a quick day, but with it being a quick day, it was kind of hard to pull out my camera every second. But we flew from Indy to Baltimore. We had ground time in Baltimore. Um, we changed pilots, we changed planes, and then we flew from Baltimore to Boston. Each flight was like a little under an hour, not long at all. Um, literally ripped up my bed like ripped up my bed prior to even getting in it. Like I I haven't even gotten in it. I haven't taken off my makeup. Like I've been sitting here playing with my phone. My battery finally died. So I decided to get up and do something. Um, I'm kind of tired. Today was a very, very short day, but I'm just like in a weird, uncomfortable mood. Like I just want to go home because of the whole bed bug situation earlier. Like I honestly did not. I don't know. I did not expect for that to happen. Like, who would, you know? I just thought it was so crazy. Like, yeah. Warming up my food, about to get back in bed. So I'd already slept in the bed bug infested bed. I already slept in it. Um, I get up out the bed to make my breakfast. The breakfast is made. I'm going back to the bed, flipping the covers down. And there he is standing there crawling like a critter. And uh, I'm just like so disgusted. I have like stuff put in a bag and literally when I get home, I'm stripping down butt naked, leaving everything in the garage. Like I really, I'm just so disgusted. I really want to cut off, like I just need to shampoo my hair. I'm just like, ugh, ugh. But we are in Boston. This is a favorite hotel of mine in Boston. So bed bug, bugs, bed bugs are clear in Boston. We're good. Um, but they're not clear in Indy. <laughs> um, I would share with you guys the hotel, but I can't only because we frequent there and um, I won't be staying there again. But that is a crew hotel of ours, so I'm not able to um, list specifically where it is. But it is in the downtown area, I will say that. Yeah, I'm just so shook. I'm very happy to be at this hotel we have in Boston because I have the LED mirror and they don't have bed bugs. Or at least the room that I'm in doesn't have bed bugs. Um, I just hope for the best for the rest of this trip. Tomorrow should be easy. We have a report time of, I think, I believe it's 4.30, yeah. Then we have three legs home to Chicago. We actually do like a little hop. So we go from Boston to Baltimore, Baltimore to Boston, do a quick turn and then Boston to Chicago. So it's gonna be a quick little cute day. Um, I'm actually excited for it because it's day three, it's go home day. I just really wanna get back home. I feel like I've been through hell and back from the medicals to the bed bug situation to like my little ex hit me up. I'm just like, you know what? I feel like the universe is really screwing with me. 
like I don't know what this I think somebody I posted on Twitter and somebody said something about the Mercury Renegade or something something is going on I don't know what I did to the universe but the universe is not playing with me but or even the devil the devil is really busy but it's okay though because my God is busier so with all of that being said I'm about to wipe off my makeup and go to sleep because I'm tired. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good old day three. <laughs> Ain't got no makeup on, but I got some mascara on. I got a little lip gloss. I'm on the phone about 15 minutes out before I have to be downstairs. So your girl is hanging in there. Day three, three legs today. We go from Boston to Baltimore, Baltimore to Boston, Boston to Chicago. Get in around midnight. It's day three, y'all. This has been one hell of a trip. I cannot wait to get home. I miss Bella. I just want to go out, live my best life. I don't think I've been out in like two weekends. So I just want to go out and have fun. Like I'm over it. Um, but yeah, so I am about to gather my belongings and head downstairs. Day three, my feet are tired. Overnight too, because they were both super long. But 
week got the best of me. And then we have Julie. Julie, you want to say hello? Hey, there's Julie. <laughs> waiting we're actually super early but I think we're going to be a little delayed because the plane um, she's actually watching my vlogs now because I told her that I have a YouTube channel but our flight is coming to oh yay okay, girl you gotta like share and subscribe to the channel send a comment <laughs> but um, yeah so our flight was coming in from Aruba it was a little delayed and it's actually really bumpy here in Baltimore so we're gonna probably stay seated coming out of here but you guys we are here we're just hanging out. They're cleaning the plane now because it is an international flight. It has to get cleaned by not us, but the actual cleaners. And we're just waiting. We're waiting. You guys, we have to go back to Boston and then from Boston, we have to go to Chicago. I'm just like, if you just go to Chicago from Baltimore, like we just want to go home. But we got to go back to Boston and then Boston, Chicago. So we're supposed to get in at midnight, but I think we're going to be maybe 20, 30 minutes delayed. I don't know. Hopefully we can make up some time. But as long as we don't have to come back to Baltimore, then we're good. We just need to get out of Baltimore because the weather and turbulence is just a lot. So yeah, you guys, I am going to chill out, hang with my crew, talk a little bit. Hopefully they get done soon and then I'll see you guys in life. Close out my vlog. Bella's here. Say hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi, boo boo. Hi, girl. I'm all done with the trip from hell. Today was crazy. Today was very crazy, but I'm so happy that I'm done. I'm back at home. I got four days off, and then I start another trip. Um, that's okay. We're just gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna think about tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm gonna have brunch with uh, my friends and just get in the group of like being at home, and then just enjoy my baby. Enjoy my favorite girl. Enjoy my favorite girl. That's what I'm looking forward to. But guys, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel and watching my vlog. Thank you so much. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. So Alex is late and he has the nerve to have attitude in me because I came down like five minutes late because I was trying to finish up my wine. Hey subbies. <laughs> you are goofy. Ready at 30 foul. Some feet feels like bar. A me's up and down. In and out. Ask me what it's all about. Touch the ground. Walk it out. Taking off his email. I've been flying in and in.